TV's Juliet Dreyer is here in Dallas with me this morning. She has been walking around talking with witnesses who were here who saw what happened. I want to toss things over to Juliet with their take on what happened last night. Juliet. Hey, Maya, yeah, I've been telling you guys all morning about the people who came out here for that protest last night. They've been stuck out here all night and all morning because they can't get to their cars. Their cars are still stuck in this cordoned off area. And one of those people is Dakani Smith. And Dakani, I have been seeing you all night long, checking in with you to see if you can get to your car. Still not able to, but take me back to last night. Tell me what happened as this protest was ending. What did you see? Um, as we were coming back from the old courthouse, I believe, or the red building, I'm not familiar, I'm not from here. But anyway, as we were coming back, we got to the street light and all of a sudden we heard a big pop. And they said, it, they're shooting. I, so, of course, I ran with everyone else and I stopped and I said, well, surely they're not shooting. I, I just couldn't imagine them shooting. So I stopped and then I heard a couple more pops and then I realized something is wrong because everyone was scattering and running and there were shoes all on the ground and people's phones and people were falling. It just was, it was a chaotic mess. It was. And Dakani, you were telling me that you actually decided to stay in on July 4th because you were worried about the crowds. You were worried something was going to happen and you never expected anything to happen at a peaceful protest like this. Tell me about that. It's kind of like, really, you know, I, I really was hesitant to go out for, you know, a big celebration for 4th of July because of all the things that have been going on as far as the violence at big, you know, events. So I really was afraid to do that, but I took the chance because I've never done a peaceful rally and I said, you know what, let's do this. Let's, let's see. So I never would have imagined that it would have been here versus, you know, somewhere like kaboom town you know it's crazy absolutely and that's what we're hear hearing from a lot of people they never expected a peaceful protest to take this kind of violent turn to connie smith thank you so much for joining us i hope you're able to get to your car and go home soon it's been a long night to say the least but let's head over to Heyman muller for more